uh, now we will move to the next question and the next question is uh, 8. So, definitely I will write over here answer number 8 and the uh, question is categorize the materials of the following products into can be recycled and cannot be recycled. That means, we have to different you know we have to uh, sort out the things we have to make a list uh, the, the articles are given and then we have to separate these articles. One is a kind which can be recycled or can be I will write can be first can be recycled. First is can be recycled and the second is can be recycled, can be recycled. Now, uh, list is given of the articles and we have to separate them. Uh, before writing this answer the word recycled or recycle means what? Suppose the article is there, take the example of the plastic uh, compass bulletin. Now, the bulletin is not in use. So, we have discussed this in the chapter that the rack pickers they come and they collect the bulletins and all the waste bulletin is uh, collected at one place uh, and then maybe uh, you know in some factory in one town in different different towns different factories are then definitely it is collected by different uh, people in different areas and then it is melted and reused to make certain different things. So, this is what this is recycling, recycling of the material. Now, uh, recycle the meaning of recycle is also explained in the chapter in detail. So, we will just sort out the, we will make a list, we will sort out the uh, two types of things which are given together. So, first is telephone instrument. So, telephone instruments cannot be recycled. So, telephone instrument. telephone instruments cannot be recycled. Now, toys yes definitely toys can be recycled. Then handles just now we read that the handles are made up of bakelite and the bakelite is the one uh, which do not uh, you know cannot be remolded reshaped. So, the handles cannot be recycled. Now, uh, carry bag bags we know it can be recycled, carry bags, then uh, ball point pens that means the plastic pens. So, the plastic I will not write now plastic, but pens can be uh, recycled. Then the next is bowls. So, bowls also depends actually. Uh, so, basically the bowls are also the ordinary bowls you know the made up of normal plastic. So, those bowls because they have not mentioned that bowls are made up of which kind of plastic. So, bowls can also be recycled. Now, uh, covering on electric wires. So, the covering of the electric wires can also be recycled. So, covering of electric wires it can be also recycled and um, plastic chairs can also be recycled actually uh, plastic I will not write we are talking only plastic only about now uh, chairs and then electrical switches switches are again made up of bakelite. So, uh, electric switches cannot be electric switches cannot be melted, uh, cannot be recycled in the sense. So, here the list was given uh, in which the articles are mixed the one which can be recycled and the one which cannot be recycled. So, we need to sort out the uh, articles from this list and we have to put them in a proper list that whether these substances can be recycled and this the other one cannot be recycled. So, we have done this and the telephone instruments cannot be recycled, handles, the electrical switches, plugs uh, uh, all these things cannot be recycled, but definitely the wires, the coating, the covering of the wires can be done, 
carry bags, toys and all these things can be recycled. Uh, with this we will move to the next question and the next question is question number 9. So, just let us see what is there in question number 9. So, question number 9 says that uh, Rana wants to buy shirts for summer. Now, before reading the question, I will just uh, uh, say over here that when we want to buy uh, clothes, uh, especially for summer, so we all know that we emphasize or we uh, see that we buy, we purchase, we wear cotton clothes only. Why do we wear cotton clothes? First of all, I will reiterate, uh, I need to read the question. So, what is given over here? Rana wants to buy shirts for summer. Should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material? Advise Rana given, giving your reason. So, obviously, it is our advice to purchase a cotton shirt, especially for summers, because we know we have discussed that uh, this cotton has got bigger pores and so the the, the the sweat can be absorbed properly and when the sweat get absorbed uh, like evaporation takes place when the evaporation of the sweat takes place it gives a cooling effect. So, there are two things first of all the uh, sweat will be absorbed and when it will be absorbed and you know uh, so what will happen even the cooling effect will also be there and basically the material which looks uh, best is you know uh, silk is also there, but still most comfortable and uh, uh, you know most uh, the look wise again it becomes upon the depends upon the choice also, but uh, broadly the cotton is preferred more rather than the synthetic materials. So, uh, now we are talking about answer number 9 and here we need to give advice to someone the Rana. So, we definitely advise for a cotton cloth again I am not writing the complete sentence cotton shirt is advised cotton shirt and I am not writing the complete sentences just gist of the answer. So, why first of all we have to advise. So, the advice which we are giving is that uh, one should buy the cotton cloth. Now, the second question is also uh, reason is also uh, reason also has to be given. So, what is the reason that it, it is a best absorber that it absorbs sweat, it absorbs sweat as it has got bigger pores. So, it absorbs sweat and when sweat get absorbed the uh, what will happen the evaporation when evaporation takes place then the cooling effect is also there and that is the reason we always advise uh, to wear the cotton fabric especially not in, in all the season then especially in the cotton uh, the uh, summers because it absorbs the sweat. Now, we will move to the next question and the next question is question number 10th. So, answer 10th. Now, what is this question number 10? Give examples to show that plastics are non corrosive in nature. Here, the question is that we have to give the examples, give examples to show that the plastics are non -corros -corros corrosive in nature. So, definitely, we are using plastics uh, for many purposes. We are keeping uh, the eatables in the plastic jars we also keep the liquids you know the cleaning liquids uh, uh, in the plastics, but uh, it does not react with that also and when we talk about the uh, laboratories all the uh, you know the hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid. Uh, so, many of the chemicals are uh, kept in the plastic containers and plastic is uh, you know used. Uh, in laboratories to uh, large extent. So, why it is done so? Because it does not react, it is uh, at least it is it does not react with all the substances. So, if they need the examples we can write that the first one is that uh, chemicals are stored 
chemicals are stored in plastic containers and why do we do so because it does not react. So, the chemicals are used in the plastic containers then the uh, cleaning liquids cleaning liquids uh, are stored in plastic containers then even the food items food items can be stored in the containers. So, these uh, three examples are quite enough to understand this that it does not react the plastic does not react with the substances and that is the reason the things are stored in the containers or the uh, jars or the bottles made up of the plastic. So, this was our question number 10th and now we are going to move on 11th one. So, the 11th question is should the handle and the bristles of a toothbrush be made up of the same material. Now, it is such a funny question it is really a funny question that they are asking that the uh, toothbrush. So, when we talk about a toothbrush the handle and the bristles uh, the part which we use to brush our teeth. So, these two both the things are made up of uh, plastic. So, they are saying that here the same plastic should be used what they are asking. Should the handle bristles of a toothbrush be made up of the same material? So, they are asking can it be uh, can it uh, can we do so or is it possible to make both the part or both the part uh, the toothbrush with the single material? No, it is not at all possible. Why it is not possible? Because the handle of the toothbrush, handle of the toothbrush has to be hard, is not it? handle of the toothbrush has to be very hard, hard in the sense it should not be very flexible, it should not turn when we brush our teeth ok. And the bristles if we talk about, so bristles has to be soft, so we cannot use only one material to make the brush. So, one material or only one material cannot be used or cannot be used to make a toothbrush. So, the toothbrush cannot be made up of the same material or uh, material or only uh, one material because the toothbrush bristle has to be very soft. Uh, and the handle has to be hard that is the reason uh, it, the brush cannot be made up of only one material. This was answer number 11th and now we need to move on the next question and that is the question number 12. So, what is the question number 12? Now, before we move to the question number 12 uh, please know this and I will just that's and uh, right we will discuss the question number 12 please know this. Now, we will move or discuss the next question and the question next question is question number 12th. So, answer number 12th. Now, the question says that uh, avoid plastics as far as possible comment on this advice. The question is directly if I talk, uh, if I say the question is why do we need to avoid the plastic. We have discussed this thing in detail uh, in the topic, but as I am solving NCERT, so need to solve the answer uh, question uh, I mean to say and why do we need to avoid plastic, what is the reason behind avoiding the plastic. So, we know that most of the plastics which we use are non biodegradable, it uh, uh, you know when we throw the plastic uh, the uh, animals eat and get the, the plastic gets stuck in their body the animals die, if you put in sewage the sewage get blocked, the plastic do not allow the percolation uh, of the water it uh, when uh, you know uh, put in the uh, water then is harmful for the aquatic life, 
if it is burned then the uh, smoke is harmful as it creates lot of pollution lot of chemical the harmful gases comes out of that when it is uh, buried inside the soil then it decreases the fertility of the soil that means you know it is very difficult to destroy plastic in a safe way and that is the reason we need to avoid the plastic so uh, what to comment as plastic is very harmful plastic is harmful and why it is harmful as it is non biodegradable plastic is non biodegradable non bio plastic is non biodegradable and so it should be avoided uh, and what are the other points uh, when uh, burned then causes burned or on burning harms the nature that means causes air pollution on throwing can be eaten by the animals can be eaten by animals due to which they die please write the complete sentences then sewage get blocked if it is thrown in sewage sewage get blocked reduces soil fertility soil fertility is very harmful when uh, for aquatic life when it is put into the uh, water bodies uh, if thrown in water bodies proves to be fatal for uh, aquatic life proves proves to be fatal by aquatic life so there are many reasons which we have already discussed and you can elaborate these reasons also and can make a very good answer now this was question number 12th and now we need to move to the next question and the next question is question number 13 so let's see what is the question oh it is match the terms of column a correctly with the phrases given in the column b so here we have match the column match the match ne it is match match the pairs now uh they have given the fabrics name on one side and on the other side they have given the uh the you know different different things are given maybe the quality the property of that material maybe sometimes the raw material material with which it is made of okay so the first one is polyester i'll just write the oh first one is polyester now the second one is teflon and i think i need to write the correct answer in front of that so third is ran and the fourth is nylon now i'm writing answers only directly answers in front of that so that there remains no confusion no ran we know first of all oh no first is polyester so we need to see the properties which are given on the other side so a polyester is the one which do not wrinkles easily uh it doesn't get wrinkle so polyester do not what it is given fabric 
do not wrinkles easily fabric do not wrinkles easily now teflon we all know it is used to make uh, the kitchen appliances like especially the non sticks and yeah that is only given that it is used to make kitchen appliances used to make kitchen appliances now rayon we know that it is the special most special characteristic of the rayon is that it is made up of uh, it is made up of made up of wood pulp now nylon is the one which is uh, we know that it, it is used for making parachutes and stockings and the climbing rope so the part is it is used to make parachutes so this was the matchstick column and uh, here directly i have written the answers only and now when we talk about polyester we all know that the polyester do not get wrinkle and uh, it's easy to wear just you know without ironing also uh, we can wear and do not absorb the water also now when we talk about teflon we know that teflon is very very important as it is used to make various kinds of non stick uh, uh, utensils which we use generally in the kitchen now rayon the most important characteristic feature of rayon is that it is semi synthetic material and it is known as semi synthetic material because it is made up of wood pulp now nylon is a very strong uh, fiber and uh, it is made up of the uh, uh, like uh, it is made up of i'm not going to say i was about to say that um, Uh, nylon is utilized to make the climbing rope the parachutes and the stockings and so on so this is about the match the column now we'll just have a look on the next question if it is given uh, the question number 14th yeah question number 14th is also there and the question number 14th uh, will discuss uh, first please note all these points now we'll come to the next question and the question number is 14 so we'll be discussing about the answer number 14 now so question is manufacturing synthetic fibers is actually helping conservation of forest comment they are saying that um, uh, if one uses more of synthetic fibers then it is going to be you know, helpful for the uh, nature that it will affect the um, uh, nature in a positive way so why and how does it uh, so, uh, like uh, why we can say so so the thing is that most of the synthetic material is ma uh, made by the petrochemicals in which one doesn't harms the plant or the animal uh, here they have specially asked uh, about the plants but i'm telling about the animals also if we are using the uh, silk especially we are killing so many cocoons so that can be saved but the question is only about the plants how can we save the uh, what is the question uh, help in conservation of forest so how the use of synthetic material can be useful in conserving uh, or conservation of forest so again the same thing is that the point is that that the synthetic materials are made up of petrochemicals and the natural materials are made up of the uh, the the you know the part which comes from the plant and uh, when we talk about the plant cellulose then the plants has to be cut that means it give rise to lots of deforestation so this deforestation can be reduced if the synthetic fibers are used so um, if we talk about if the question comes in the way that how use of artificial silk or use of artificial uh, fabric can save the life of the uh, few organisms so it can be 
uh, what can we write we can say we can write that the if the silk pure silk is not used if the uh, pure silk is avoided then the life of the cocoons can be saved but here they have asked about the deforestation so what we will write that as synthetic materials as synthetic material is made of made up of petrochemicals and so the so the effect on the nature get reduced while for making many natural material of fibers many natural fiber plants or trees has to be cut has to be cut which leads to deforestation thus it harms the nature so this was the answer that if the natural material is not used and in comparison to natural material if the synthetic one is used then the deforestation can be stopped because for making many natural fibers uh, the plants uh, cellulose is utilized and if we talk about plant cellulose then uh, the plant has to be cut that means it give rise to deforestation and so the conservation of forest cannot be done or the plant the deforestation we know the effects of the deforestation and so the use of the synthetic fibers can save the uh, forest now uh, this one is the last question question number 15 this is the last question of the ncert of the synthetic fiber and the plastic and the question is describe an activity to show that thermoplastic is a poor conductor of electricity so here they are asking uh, that uh, uh, we need to show activity to show that the thermoplastic is the uh, poor conductor of the electricity so uh, what has to be done just we can take i'll just take the color chalk and we just need to make a circuit now uh, we'll read this circuit uh, in details in the one of the chapter chemicals or the current something like that for now just we'll talk about a simple circuit so this is a metal rod and it is connected with the help of the wire here we have used the battery the switch is there and here again we have put one bulb and this is how the circuit is complete we have taken this part is this part is metal we have attached a metal part metal rod a and b this is wire this we have read in seventh also the little you know the superficial idea must be there so this is a circuit very simple circuit is made over here the wire is taken but uh, cell is there then switch is there and here the bulb is there now the second also will make but here we are going to make uh, we are going to take the 
thermoplastic rod this is thermoplastic rod and again the here also we will attach this with the wire and then again the cell will be there the switch will be there and again here we will have the bulb. This is circuit number A and this is circuit B. Now what are the requirements first of all so we require wire metal piece plastic switch then bulb and cell that means the things which we require to make a circuit is not it we have made a circuit but the two circuits are there two circuits are there but the difference is that here in the circuit the metal rod is taken and there that part here I will write the metal rod is taken and here the plastic is taken. Now when the current is allowed to pass when the current is passed in both these circuits now what will happen as this is a metal metal is a good conductor of electricity and so obviously this is going to glow this will glow and this circuit will work why it is happening over here because the metal is good conductor of electricity what is the meaning of good conductor of electricity those uh, substances which allows the electricity to pass through them and what are the examples of the good conductors like metal metal are the good conductors of the electricity so metals are the good conductor of the electricity and so the metal allows the current to pass through the circuit and that is the reason the bulb glows but here when even when the current is passed as the plastic is here this bulb does not glow this bulb does not glow why does not uh, why the circuit B does not work because plastic is a bad conductor of electricity this is what we are supposed to prove over here in the activity or through the activity that why does the this B circuit does not glow so it does not uh, does not glow means a bulb of the B circuit does not glow because the circuit B has got plastic and plastic is the bad conductor of electricity and what is the meaning of bad conductor of electricity the substance which do not allow the electricity to pass through them is known as bad conductor of the electricity. So here with this uh, making of circuit the two things are proved over here that circuit A uh, will work in the bulb in the circuit A will glow because metal rod is attached over here metal rod is good conductor of electricity and so it will allow the current to pass through it and so the current will come to the bulb and uh, the uh, wire and the bulb will glow but as plastic is a bad conductor the circuit the bulb will the bulb will not glow so this is how we can prove through this activity that the plastic is a bad conductor of electricity now this was all about the uh, NCRT question answers and now we will be discussing few other questions uh, which can again uh, be very helpful in the clearance or the concept making so the uh, you know the uh, to understand the things in a better way. So please note this and now we'll, we will be discussing certain uh, uh, more you know few more questions.